Huawei knows the future path to Google services might be non-existent, even with a new US president, so the company is going full ahead with its own Harmony OS. According to Wang Chenglu, the president of the software department at Huawei Consumer Business Group, the open source platform will be available to developers really soon. But before further we do, if you do end up liking what you see here, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now let's get back to the video. According to Wang Chenglu, the open source platform will be available to developers around December 18, and the first demo units will run the OS by January or February 2021. Dr. Wang revealed all the employees at Huawei are working towards building a new ecosystem around the Harmony idea, and so far everything is going according to plan. When the initial reports come back in the first quarter of 2021, the public beta should launch around April 2021. Huawei has pulled the trigger on the sale of its sub-brand Honor. Chinese media outlets claim that a deal has been reached with a newly established state-owned joint venture and is currently in its final stages. The official announcement could be made on November 20. While the acquisition cost hasn't been mentioned, tech radar estimates it to be in the range of 15 to 25 billion Chinese yuan, which is approximately $2.2 billion to $3.7 billion. This will allow Honor phones to use Snapdragon chipsets and have access to Android with all of Google's mobile services on board, since the current US sanctions are levied on Huawei Consumer Business Group and Huawei Enterprise. Huawei recently launched its much-awaited Mate 40 series flagship smartphones in the market. Since the Chinese giant is facing several issues related to supply chain and production, it is struggling to meet the demand for the Huawei Mate 40 series smartphones. While the devices are currently out of stock, the company says they will soon be restocked. However, the demand for Mate 40 Pro is quite high, and the company may not be able to keep a steady flow of units in the market. This is mainly because of the chipset, as the phone is powered by the high silicon Kirin 9000 SoC. Because of the sanctions imposed by the United States, Huawei cannot manufacture new Kirin 9000 chipsets. This means that the company has limited units of the chipsets available, and once Huawei runs out of them, it won't be able to make more chipsets, halting the manufacturing of Mate 40 Pro and Pro Plus models. So, what do you guys think about all this, let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.